Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time it's a little bit different. Now, I have been making WAM reviews for some time now and uh, well, most of the time everyone wants to know that uh, what are the features. Well, most people do understand what the features are. A lot of other people do not know what a ROM is. It's their first time watching a ROM. So I normally enumerate all the features available in a certain ROM. Now I understand that does make it a very long video and most people don't want that. Most people just want to know what the special features are, what are the special stuff and I have recently started grading the ROMs. So what this video is going to be about is I'm going to use this ROM which is Resurrection Remix by Nisoni Ash because it is one of the feature rich ROMs available. I'm going to enumerate features on this ROM in a separate video. Uh, and this video is going to be timestamped in the uh, description so you can go on and I will be timestamping each and every features separately so that when you're watching a video of mine I will provide a text on the video so you can watch the video and see that well these are these all features are available and if you do not know what that specific feature is you can go ahead and come to this video which is again timestamped go to the timestamp and see the, the specific feature click on that see what the feature does and uh, that should be it so hopefully that works out um, I mean, this is after I am hearing from you guys and a lot of people have suggested to uh, move away from the feature, uh, well, babbling about features in every ROM. So, yeah, I think that would uh, improve my time also with the other ROM. So, I guess that should be it. That is it in the introduction part. So, let's get started with the stuff now. So guys, let's get started now. Um, as I've already mentioned, I will be going through all the features. Now, these features are kind of similar to most devices, most ROMs. I'll be going through custom ROM uh, features, which is AOSP, CAF, and also Lineage. First of all, in the configurations, this is where all the features reside. In most ROMs, uh, there will be a particular setting in the setting menu where most of the extra stuff is uh, in build. Now there are other ROMs where everything is mismatched into something like uh, display settings, uh, more settings and all that. This one is pretty straightforward. Now first thing is clock uh, customization. You do have customization available for clock settings. So you can see there is clock styles. You can have left, center or right. So which is pretty simple. It does have a second menu, seconds uh, enabler. You can enable how seconds are displayed. AMPM indicator is available for normal, small and hidden even. Date options is available. Date style can be customized. Font can also be customized. Also font size can be customized. So these are the date options. Brand logo. Now most ROMs does have its own brand logo. So you can enable that. As you can see I have enabled that and you can see the uh, Resurrection Remix brand which is enabled there which is pretty cool it is available in there is also custom logos which can be enabled so you can see I have enabled the uh, spider logo it can have something else also you can have a custom logo also if you are someone who is technically advanced and you want to do that you can do that and that does work out pretty well also batteries customization in the battery customization you have option for changing battery styles you can have all of these even you can hide the battery stuff and you can enable battery bar which is also available which will show up as a battery bar you can see uh, I have enabled a battery bar and that is a mirrored battery bar which is from center to the edge of the display so yeah that does work out in the battery stuff uh, battery style settings uh, I'll just hide the battery bar now there's also a battery percentage indicator now this is my favorite one with the battery circle and percentage inside the icon there's also option for battery charge uh, during charging it can enable a battery percentage in text and also a flash symbol or a tilt symbol uh, to indicate that it is charging so that's also pretty cool Cool. system icons in the system icon you can customize what all stuff appears so battery uh, bluetooth battery status so any device which is connected via bluetooth if it supports can show up its battery charge percentage onto the display so that is also available uh, no sim network hide if the sim card is not getting any network uh, it can just straight up hide it uh, rather than just showing a blank screen so that is also pretty cool also super user indicator show notification count all that is available uh, show 4g instead of lte so that is also pretty cool 
cool that is available weather temperature in the weather temperature option you can have a status bar weather guide so you can see right now i have enabled show temperature image without scale that would show up as a, well right now there is no weather option because i have disabled the location when it it gets my location it will show the weather icon which is sunny cloudy or whatever it is and you can customize that with placement and the font sizes and all that and it's really cool network traffic indicator is available and you can see that is the one which is there uh, i have enabled all of these features you can customize the uh, display unit bits per second or bytes per second also update interval auto hide is available and i normally set it to 5 kbps because that's something which i like status bar gestures are available for uh, brightness control uh, double tap to sleep and all that that is pretty nice to see a uh, system ui tuner which is pretty cool you can see uh, I have enabled data Wi-Fi activity arrows so if you disable that the arrows which you see under the LTE icon that will disa uh, that'll disappear and if you're connected to Wi-Fi also there won't be any arrows but I like to see the arrows so yeah that is there status bar option you can customize what all application what all icons appear in the status bar like VLT if you don't want VLT yeah you can just disable that also all of these options are available where you can customize that do not disturb mode can be customized from here also in the other option there is power notification controls if you want to know more about power notification controls well you can google that it's pretty simple and it is really really useful also so that's really cool so that is it in the status bar option let's go to the panel options in there you have notification panel option where you can customize the notification stuff now no notification view is this one if you have no notifications you can enable carrier name and even the Wi-Fi network so you can see there is right now my carrier and there is Wi-Fi is off in when there is no notification if there is a notification it will show up the notification and that's really cool uh, also uh, quick setting accents can be enabled you can see there is an accent right now you can enable that and even have a custom color for it uh, you can customize the thickness of it and all that so that is really really cool there is a lot of options for that in the header option you can enable custom header and that does work out very well uh, you can customize the header also to static or dynamic or whatever you want right now I have enabled uh, dynamic and with uh, I don't know let's see splash so yeah here is you can see you can customize that even a custom image can be enabled also there is option to disable most of these stuff so you can see there is edit icon uh, setting menu the profile changer and also expand option you can disable whatever you want from here so you can customize that it's really cool and uh, it does work out very well now volume panel also has the same options as you saw with the quick setting panel so you can customize the uh, dialog timeout strokes and also thickness of the stroke and all that is available you can customize that task manager is something which i really appreciate i'm a task manager is this one you can customize you can see there are two applications which is enabled right now so you can kill applications from here directly if they are giving you problems also it does give you a memory bar and also a clear all button so that does work out very well in the power dialog option you can customize the uh, background transparency and also the background uh, dimming for the this one so if you uh, disable transparency it will be fully transparent and also you can customize that uh, also background amount dimming can also be customized so you can uh, have a very very different experience with all those now notification option you do have force expand notification disable immersive mode messages uh, FC notification can be disabled altogether and also kill app button so there's something which I really appreciate I mean uh, this was available with the uh, most uh, previous ROMs also where you can just long press on the notification and go straight to setting app menu and just kill the force close the application but right now in this one you get a kill app button in the notification and uh, that does work out really well now in the recent menu recent menu is just general options I mean this one is the uh, options for normal recent UI in AOSP so you can have general UI settings where you can enable memory bar and all that so you can see memory bar is enabled right now and you can customize that clear all button can be enabled and that is really nice to see recent styles can be customized where you have button styles which can be customized to whatever you want uh, custom recent style for all of these colors can be changed and all that is available from this option now there is also two other options which is omni switch and slim recent now uh, if you have no if you know what omni switch and slim recents are very really good now if you don't these are basically very very feature rich recent UIs 
for you to use. I mean, Slim Recent is what you would expect. I mean, it is the same as Slim One. If you have used Slim ROM previously, you will be right at home with that. It does have a lot of options here, which you can customize here, and that does work out really well. OmniSwitch is the most feature-rich recent UI which I've used. The only problem right now is that uh, the NoGats multi-window feature doesn't work with Slim ROM. Uh, doesn't work with the Slim ROM or OmniSwitch. So that is something which I'm waiting on. Now in the quick setting panel, there is quick animations. So that is uh, the animation which you get when you are expanding the quick setting. So that is also there which you can customize. Pretty cool to have. Quick pull down is available. Now most ROMs have a quick pull down and not a smart pull down. Um, I like to have small pull down but recently I have just not well cared to use that. Uh, you can have no notification and if you have no notification like right now there was a notification you can delete that. If there was no notification it will go straight to quick settings and that is really cool. You can have that. That is pretty cool to have and uh, yeah that does work out. Quick pull down is from the size if you have select right if you swipe down from the right it will open up the quick settings uh, directly so that is there. Most ROMs have this option uh, nothing special here. Tile layout there is customization available now columns is number of stuff which is in the horizontal direction and rows is in the number of stuff in the vertical direction so I normally keep it at 7 2 uh, and also quick setting uh, I small quick setting tile I keep it at 7 or whatever the same the same uh, setting which I keep the number of uh, columns so because I would like to have that many ROMs does not have the quick setting tile uh, customization here uh, there is uh, option to have enable it as a scrollable quick setting small quick setting tile i personally like this one a lot better than what their uh, implementation is but uh, i guess different people have different customization uh, preferences so yeah in the advanced settings you do have vibrate on touch advanced data tile all of these options are available wi-fi ec toggle bluetooth ec toggle battery tile ec toggle for battery saver location ec toggle uh, music tile track you can have that if you are enabling the music uh, option here quick setting tile title can be enabled or disabled if you disable that you will get a much more compact uh, setting here but I, I would really like to have this one also so that does work out weather tile has a different setting here where you can customize the location and all that so yeah that does work out very well I do need to have the location tile enable location settings enable I don't have that now let me just show you guys what all stuff is available in the quick setting tile uh, these all tiles are available as you can see there are quite a lot gesture anywhere navigation bar visualizer uh, night light can be enabled even uh, custom application style stuff or uh, open camera shazam and all that is available which you can enable in there uh, RR settings which is really cool uh, normally I use all of these and I have that in my normal configuration. I really like the compass one which was missing in the previous versions of the ROM and uh, I, I really do like that. Uh, it is really something which I really appreciate. Lock screen setting in the lock screen setting you do have gestures where you can customize tap uh, lock screens to sleep, tap, tap, double tap on the lock screen to sleep, a power button, torch, long press and all that is available. Now what this is is that uh, when you have the in your phone in lock screen you can press and hold the power button to have your torch enabled so you can see that is something which is there and you can customize that and that does work out very well. Last new UI is available where you can customize all of these and you can customize the clock font, uh, font colors, clock colors, blur background, battery lock info, all that can be customized, key guard, status bar clock, all that is available to be customized from here and that does have a lot of stuff. Color customization is also available if you want to customize any of these colors in the lock screen you can do that. Bottom shortcuts can be customized to anything which you want even selected applications. Upper shortcuts is a slim style uh, shortcuts menu which you can long press on the uh, on the lock screen to enable you can have anything here uh, even custom application custom actions all that is available and that does work out very well weather option now you can enable weather in lock screen as you can see uh, I have enabled that and that does work out so you can see there is weather option here it does work out I really like it and you can customize how the weather is uh, uh, is displayed using C clock widget and that does work out very well in the security option you can enable quick unlock also lock screen notification count can be customized show power menu in lock screen FP unlock which I really appreciate I mean that uh, eliminates the need for pin at any time even when rebooting even when your uh, system UI is rebooted all that now in the gestures option you do have a lot of things now first of all gesture anywhere this was one of my favorite features in the previous 
version of uh, Android and you can customize that uh, you can have stuff enabled you can add a specific gesture like let's just add something here uh, let's say I want to enable Android when I uh, give a gesture of a so I will keep it done and when I trigger that I when I click here and I put the uh, gesture which I need it will enable Android and that works out very well I really appreciated this one uh, back in the days I used to use this all the time for camera and torch uh, right now there are other shortcuts available for camera and torch like uh, double tapping the power button for camera and uh, well just screen off gestures it works out very well so I will be using that uh, but it is still a really nice feature to have. Now app circle bar is another feature which is kind of like a gesture anywhere but that gives you a circle of applications which you can customize. It works out if you want some quick applications here and there that does re that is a really cool feature. Pi controls are available and you can enable Pi and that is really really cool you can see this and this is a, a PA style pile with the full on suit of it so that does work out very well also you can enable three gesture finger screenshot which is this one and you can use that that's pretty cool now uh, in the button settings there is navbar options which is normal which you will find in any other ROM but there is dynamic navbar colors which uh, adapts itself to uh, well primarily dark color and all that you can read that also there is navigation mode there is smart bar which is this one one where you can customize all of that uh, you can also have the pixel uh, animation stuff which is really really cool I hope you can see that so that is also available and also there is a contextual button position layout and all that uh, there is a lot of features I personally did not use a navbar so I can't really comment on that a lot there's also fling settings which is pretty cool you can have that it does work out really well you can uh, do gestures on this and uh, that will work out now hardware key cut customization is available where you can customize the backlighting so you can see backlighting is enabled right now uh, it will show up stuff you can have a back button home button and overview button customization now this is AOSPA style uh, home button or hardware button customization so you have all three levels of customization with all of these custom actions so you can read them and uh, well the CM or lineage based ROMs does not have all of these features and uh, they only have home button and uh, recent button customization for uh, most part so yeah that is a different thing in the power menu customization there is also option for customizing the items available in power menu so that is something there which you can customize here pretty cool to have shutdown confirmation dialog and all that is available adjust the launch vibration so that is for double tapping the power button will launch the camera and the vibration can be customized from here not all roms have this this one does and that is really cool. advanced restart can be enabled from here also volume button customization is available in this rom and there is option for playback control which is music and also keyboard cursor control which is my favorite one now in the animation settings there is option to customize the animation of this rom so basically this is from aokp stuff so you do have activity open animation close animation uh, move to front animation task animation all of that is available list view animations are also available and also scrolling cache can be force enabled force disabled all that scrolling modifiers are available which is also animation stuff so you can have fling velocity scroll friction all that can be customized from here toast animation is available so you do have a toast icon which can be enabled so whenever a toast appears it will have the icon of the parent application also toast animation can be customized so you can see power menu now power menu animation is uh, from where the animation uh, menu kicks up so I have set up from the bottom because I like it you can also have flying which is going to be something different uh, there are a lot of stuff which you can have a 3d which is going to be a 3d effect so you do have that tap transition is, <laughs> is also available which is for the setting application so you can have that you can see that is the difference there is the uh, accordion stuff flip horizontally is available now interface settings in the interface settings this is where the fund and display size customization resides so you can customize it from here so that's really cool now normally in other ROMs it is available in display options which is kind of different uh, not all ROM have that it also has a custom LCD density pixel selector so out of the box this ROM comes with 390 uh, which is well 392 or 390 whatever it is so you can customize it from here if you want some specific display DPI setting 
that is a customization option which is available and that is really cool now blur personalization is also available which is going to blur uh well let's just see uh status bar so you can you can see this is blurred right now normally it's not it's just clear so you do have customization for that for uh status bar background for quick setting panel and also for recent apps so menu you can have blurs uh, available so you can see this is blurred right now so yeah these are the stuff which is available and that's really cool you can also change the level of translucency or uh, transparency you can customize that expanded desktop is available where you can customize certain application to use only uh, expanded mode or uh, you can just customize it to whatever you need so that's really cool ambient display now in this uh, option uh, there is a little bit more uh, stuff which you can customize so uh, you can enable disable ambient display you can have battery status style which is pretty cool and also notification inversion which is going to customize it the way you have your phone themed also uh, if you override all this, you can customize in the brightness level, fade in, visible duration, pickup sensor enabler, and notification trigger. This is normally enabled, but you can disable that from this if you override them. So that is also pretty cool. Now, dashboard option is for all this. Uh, there is an option for customizing the number of columns and uh, in portrait and uh, landscape. I have set it to two because I like two rows of uh, settings, which is in the settings menu. I really like that. And there's also uh, various summary text, which is in the, um, well, I guess this one, the summary text can be customized. So now input option, you do have option for a uh, keyboard rotation stuff, which, well, I personally do not use this anyway. Uh, but it is available for someone who is too much, uh, too much concerned about their input options. Now, heads up display can be enabled or disabled from here and also timeout, uh, for that can be customized from here. Also snooze, I keep it disabled because that is hell of a lot annoying. And there's also option for screenshots. So you can select the screenshot delay. So, uh, when you press the power button and the volume down button, it will take a screenshot. How much delay from your Pressing the button to actually taking the screenshot, it can be customized here. And also, screenshot and uh, crop can be enabled from here. So, whenever you take a screenshot, it will go straight to uh, cropping. So, that is there. Also, screenshot type can be customized. So, you do have full screenshot or you can take a screenshot and drag select. Now, what I like about this ROM is that if you do the three finger gesture, it's going to take a full screenshot. But if you use the uh, buttons to take a screenshot, it's going to take a uh, partial screenshot and I really like it so it gives me both the options at the same time so that is something which I really appreciate now in the miscellaneous option so you do have a CLNX mode selector what it is is uh, well SLNX mode is very subjective for certain applications like Facebook Messenger it needs to be in permissive if you, if you want to use uh, calls and all that if it's an enforcing it is basically more secure and stuff like that but uh, certain application does not work with it so yeah if you you can read more about it in Google you can uh, even read it it's like a set of kernel modification so yeah if you want modifications you need to do permissive like in uh, uh, maybe wiper for rise if you need that you need to change it to permissive other stuff warning color is basically battery uh, setting if you have battery saver enabled it will show a red in the status bar and if you have nav bar it will show red also fingerprint authentication vibration show floating button is this thing uh, if you don't want that you can disable that clock and widget now this is c clock this is a lineage c clock basic stuff but i really like this i mean i am using it as my uh, home uh, well, this thing, which is pretty amazing. I really do appreciate that. So yeah, there is a lot of customization available for this. And I've already talked about Del Delta Update in the specific ROM review. No other ROM does have Delta Updates right now. Now, Wake Lock Blocker. If you are having issues with Wake Locks, uh, you can block Wake Locks with this. And if you want to, well, disable alarms, you can disable that. But be wary, this can probably work up your operating system because sometimes some things are really essential for the ROM to function. You may be able to vo uh, uh, block them, but your phone won't be behaving the same way. So that is an issue which is going to be there for most people. So yeah. Now headset. In the headset option, you have an option to select what happens if you get a uh, ringtone when when you get a notification or a call when headsets are plugged in so you can have uh, connected playing and and playing music when there is a ringtone or a speakerphone headphone both of them will play the ringtone when you have it connected 
Also, in addition to wake clock blocker, there's also alarm block. Now, alarm is a different kind of uh, wake clock. It is going to wake up your device and going to uh, more much into the battery life. So that is the main thing. So you can also change that. You can also disable alarms from this one. Now, suspended action used to be an option in uh, earlier KitKat ROMs, and you can enable that. And you can have certain conditions. So when the screen is off, you can switch the data connection to 2G. That is an option. Also disable mobile data entirely and disable GPS entirely. How useful this will be for you guys depends on your use case scenario. If you're downloading in the background and the screen turns off, well, if you have disable data connect uh, enable, that's going to cut off your download. So that's going to happen. There are options there. And the system app remover, you do have options here. So you can customize and remove any system application which you do not need. Uh, for example, CM file manager, if you don't need that, you can delete that. But again, be cautious with it. It is very, very easy to just remove something which is really important and, uh, uh, well, bork up your system and you won't be able to use your ROM the same way. So you will need to be careful about it. If you don't know what you're doing, just don't mess with it. Uh, use titanium backup or something. Just suspend it and check if everything is working correctly. If not, then just unfreeze it and you'll be okay. For most ROMs, there will be an about phone page and where you can read the change logs, where you can read the feature list and all that. So yeah, there is a lot of things which you can go for. And uh, this is this being a very feature rich ROM, it does have a long list of features and that is going to be a uh, very interesting uh, read. So that is it in the configuration option, which is the main kahuna of this ROM. Now there's also themes, which is basically OMS support substratum. Most ROMs do support substratum, which is full OMS support. So you will be able to uh, change the themes of it now I don't have any themes installed because I will be changing this ROM soon enough in the display option if it is a lineage based ROM you will have uh, something called live display which is going to change your uh, blue light uh, option in the screen so for night reading you can set it automatically so i have set it automatically and you can have night mode enable which is going to change the color temperature of your device which is going to be better on your eyes and in automatic mode it will change according to the sunrise and sunset after the sun sets it will change to night mode and uh, normally it will change to day mode so yeah that is available apart from that nightlight is also available which is also available in other AUSB and caf based ROMs. so now this is nothing special in the ambient display settings there's also something called pickup and hand wave and pocket mode what it does is uh, when you have your hand waved uh, in the proximity sensor it's going to enable the ambient display so that is this option which is available and uh, yeah if you pick up your device that is also supposed to enable your thing so you can see uh, ambient display is enabled now so yeah these are options available with any rom so nothing special here but this is a feature nonetheless now, another thing which i really like is the prevent accidental wake up so whenever your hand is or whenever the phone is in the pocket it won't use your uh, fingerprint reader yeah, if the proximity sen sensor is covered the fingerprint scanner is disabled for uh, something like AOS AICP it also disables the power button if the proximity sensor is disabled so yeah now in the gestures option you do have on this ROM particularly there are a lot of gestures available where you have uh, dialer V uh, there is an A V uh, well less than greater than swipe down with two fingers swipe up with one, one finger all of these guys, uh, things can be customized to any one of these features now there are some other roms like slim rom where you can customize if you can bind a application to it and that works pretty well i really do appreciate that one and uh, it it works pretty well for most people also double tap uh, to jump to camera is uh, an option available here also apart from the configuration menu double tap to sleep on the status bar is also available now additional button settings which is for the alert slider for this device so that is there uh, top position is available middle position you can customize and bottom position all notification or you can customize from any of also swap button here is for these two buttons so if in, in swap condition this is going to be the recent menu and in unsamped condition this is going to be the back button so that is available customizations now in the security options uh, most ROMs have this where you can customize the blur background option from here and also scramble layout which can be enabled from here which is pretty cool also display visual mo uh, music visualizer can be customized if you have this enabled whenever a music is playing it will show a visualizer in the lock screen which is 
pretty damn cool and uh yeah in the developer option normally you will find the stay awake option which i normally keep enabled android debug option uh there is option for changing animation scales now this rom does have a slider apart from just the selection menu which is really cool i really appreciate that that should do it about the feature list i understand this is in no way a comprehensive list of features which you might want to see if at all you want to see but most of the features available in any rom are available in this one so you will probably be able to understand what these features are so yeah i guess how much is it about this video then uh hopefully this was informative for you guys and if you are hard pressed to find out what this feature what any of these features does you might find some help in this video hopefully so yeah, I guess that much is it about the video then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.